My name is Zane. I am 10 years old, and today I will be talking about the secret of fasting in Ramadan. Fasting is a major worship in Islam that provides a great platform to gain self-control, purity, sympathy to poor, sincerity to Allah, and success in the afterlife. Fasting enables us to fight evil traits such as passion, lust, greed, and jealousy. Fasting kills the desire of self and the appetite of greed, and from it comes purity of the heart, perfection in the limbs, cultivation in the inner and outer being, thankfulness for blessings, charity to the poor, increase a humble supplication, humility, weeping, and most of the ways of seeking refu refuge in Allah, and it is a cause for breaking, for the breaking of world worldly desires, the reducing of evil things and redoubling of good deeds, it, it containing benefits which cannot be counted. It is enough that we mention some of them to the person who understands and is given success in making use of fasting, if Allah wills. One of the training effects of fasting on a person is that it discontinues the rule of habit and desires of freeze the person from the slavery of sensual desires. The worst, the worst rule and most dangerous is the rule of bad habit and the slavery of desires because usually the simple habit of tobacco gives a big loss to the honor of a person and then what to say about the other habits. Fasting awakens emotions of feeling wealthy and well-to-do people who eat different varieties of food the whole year are unaware of people who are hungry. The person who fasts remembers the hunger of the poor and becomes aware of their sufferings. And as a result, emotions and sentiments are awakened in them. And, the, and this reduces the gap between var various classes of people and reminds them to fulfill the needs of the poor. Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq has said, A person who merely abstains from eating and drinking will not always be counted as one who is observing fast. This means that when you observe fasting, your ears, eyes, tongue, etc. must also be observing fasts and must not perform any awful actions. Your hands, feet, and all the other parts of your body must also be observing fasting and must commit no sin. Only then you will, will your fasting be accepted by the Almighty Allah. That's the end of my speech. Thank you for listening. Please recite Lao Salawat.